let's roll. It's been a hard day night. Ladies and gentlemen, look who's here. Hi, how are you? Hi, John. I'm doing good. How are you? Good. Welcome to this Radio Reunion 7. This is Sandy Hall. And once upon a time, a zillion, four hundred sixty-three trillion years ago, even though neither one of us looks a day over 19, <laughs> she worked at uh, the old 970 WFLA? Yes, I did. Yeah, what'd you do? I was a disc jockey. I was the first full-time female disc jockey in the city of Tampa. And it's all because we guys let you girls wear shoes. You got it, baby. I can go on, but I'll stop Yeah, I think behind. you should stop here before you get into big trouble. Yeah. Wait, aren't you wondering how I got that job? When you're in a meeting or a group, never use the restroom. Never. I left the table to go to the restroom. Oh, okay. And five people, Ted Webb, Jeff Rogo, Bill Swisher, Bob Passwaters, waved at me across the room. So I waved back. Mm -hmm. I got elected. Oh. Well, I'm glad they elected you. I really am. I am too. It's a lot of fun yeah. talking to all these wonderful people. So what we're going to do is we're going to wander around the room looking for some more mischief to get ourselves into. You got it, my friend. Take okay. care. Have a good time. Good deal. Let's wander around and see who's here. Everybody's here. Okay. Life and relationship How you doing? I'm doing well, thanks. How are Very you? good. Great. His good. name is Wayne Greenberg. I am. You were with? I was with WDAE and 95 YNF in sales. How long ago? This was got here in 79, moved over to YNF in 81, and got out of the business in 85. I'm sorry, but I don't want to know anything more about you because she's better looking than you are? Absolutely, please. Yeah. I'm surprised you came to me first. Well, it was only by accident that you were standing there. I needed to find a way to interrupt the conversation to get the microphone in here. By all means, please. Yes. Hi there, how are you? Hi there, how are you? Good to see you. Thank you. This is Brandy Winans. Is this not a wonderful turnout we're having today? We are. I mean, we are having a magnificent time today. Right, right. So, I'm going to give you a blank check to say whatever it is you want to say. Oh, my goodness. That's um, enough. <laughs> <laughs> Just teasing. This woman is very involved with uh, the NFL issues of uh, concussion, brain yes. injury. Yes. They have certain rules for today's front players. And the yesterday's players don't fall under those rules. You making any progress there? Um, it's slow. It's slow. It's slow. I mean, we've stopped the helmet to helmet. We put we put posters. We, you know, we've got positions now that are um, regulated more by the NFL. So there's there's a lot of things that we've done, but we still have a lot more to do. And I love the game. I think everybody that loves any kind of sports loves the game. But being able to make people aware of, of what can happen, and most importantly, when you do have a concussion, to understand the downtime that it's going to take for you to recover fully. Whip around here to the side. Hey, Tony. How are you, Mr. How are you Tony? Doing? Good John. to see you. I used to work with this guy at uh, where? Uh, was it TKN, I guess? Yeah, right. Uh, 570. Yeah. Same station, as a matter of fact, that uh, this guy, the cameraman, who you can't see because he's shooting the camera, his father owned it, Dan Johnson, uh, uh, be, even before we were together, all the uh, way back in the 1970s okay. and earlier. Yeah, because I was there with um, uh, when Susquehanna had it. Right. And your call to fame, your, your claim to fame, is uh, what voice are you able to do really, really good? Hey, I'll tell you, I don't do voices. Voices <laughs> do me, you know. <laughs> what are you doing now? Um, absolutely nothing. You're serious? Um, I had a, yeah, I had a, uh, I had a bar uh, on Bush Boulevard um, for about four years, and a friend of mine took it over, and we put a little internet radio station in there. So, really? Uh, so we're doing that. It's WPRNDB, digital broadcast, uh -huh. um, and uh, you can come in, have a beer, and watch the radio show. Wow, isn't that neat? I need to come on by and see yeah, this. Yeah, yeah. And how do, do we uh, how do we dial you up on the internet? Uh, you can go to uh, UStream, uh, go to uh, Radio Bar, just go to RadioBarAndGrill.com, uh -huh. and it'll bring you right to the uh, UStream feed. And RadioBarAndGrill.com. Right. All right. We need to do some more wandering around and see what's going on. This is Bill Burnett. Bill is a uh, retired deputy sheriff in Pinellas County. Thirty some years, a deputy sheriff. And because you worked for the uh, as a civilian, how many weeks? Four weeks. Four weeks. And because you retired as a civilian, right? Uh, the sheriff's office will not give you the designation. That's correct. For 
a federal license that allows him to carry in all 50 states. And because of that four weeks that you worked as a civilian, they won't give it to you. I'm a civilian. It's sick. I haven't been a civilian in 30 years. I know. But I am now. <laughs> it's terrible. Well, anyway, we're going to keep the pressure on the um, sheriff and those people to get you. You deserve that. I mean, you were a good, good, good deputy sheriff. You were a good cop. I mean, yes, you were in the broadcasting business for... Well, I know you don't like people to be reminded of broadcasting. that. Broadcasting? What's that? Yeah, you were a newsman. This guy was a newsman for many years. WFLA in Tampa, down on the Miami market, every other place. You know something else about the sheriff? All he has to do is make a phone call and sign me off and it's good to go, but he won't do that. We're going to keep the pressure on him. It doesn't make any logical, moral sense whatsoever. But then, what the heck does morality have to do with anything? Well, in this day and age, it doesn't. <laughs> that is true. Ladies and gentlemen, this guy's name is Chuck Stevens. And you were with what? I started out with WLCY and went to Q105. You're old enough to be at LCY? I am old enough. To, I was actually the last disc jockey they had on radio because I was the one that after I went off the air at midnight, I was doing 7 to midnight, they took it to WNSI News Talk. So I played the last record, which was American Pie. I went on to do other things. I was the one that coined the phrase and actually hold the copyright to the original Breakfast with the Beatles. Right now I book rock bands, uh, major rock bands. I've done work with the Beach Boys. I've done work with, I was out on the road with Jan and Dean for a while, Eddie Money. I do benefits on my own with my band. I just came back from Seattle, Washington. I go to Las Vegas next Friday. So it's been a whirlwind rock and roll tour. You miss the broadcasting business? I do miss Breakfast with the Beatles. I don't know why they don't have it on in this area. But then again, you know, first person that calls and wants it, I'll do it. I'm not getting fresh. Yeah, I understand. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, hey, by the way, there's a camera in your face now, Thank too. Thank you. Okay. This guy's name is uh, Enrique Ilyu. And you won't believe what this guy does. As you can probably see, he can't see. However, he does color commentary for the Spanish broadcasts for the Tampa Bay Rays. How do you do it? I just, I just fool everybody half of the time the whole time. That's what we do. <laughs> Thank you. There is a, there is a serious uh, answer to that question. Uh, well, I think my wife spots for me. My play-by-play -play guy is pretty good. And we have fun, and I've done all the research that needs to be done. I played all these sports so long that you know I know them pretty much. Yeah. In other words, you get to uh, talk to the players. Yes, I do. Talk to the management and uh, and Joe Madden. Oh, I have a great relationship with Joe Madden. Yeah, he? I love Joe. He's a wonderful, wonderful man. Right? Yes, it is. Good. You, you, you took too long to answer that question. I'm sorry. We're, he's going to see this, and he's going to see, you know. Enrique, it took you two seconds to say I'm a wonderful guy. No, he is a wonderful guy. But you know, the thing with Joe is that I want to talk to him about other crap instead of baseball. We'll, t we'll trade books with him or trade music and stuff. And we'll get into tangents like that. And everybody's like sticking a pin, like, you know, clicking the pin. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Enough of you. Because mm -hmm. with Joe, it's not even about baseball. It's about other stuff. Yeah. And the other stuff includes a thing that needs to be We've got to make this go all over America yes, and maybe will. even around the world. We know about Thanksgiving. We know about Christmas. And there's a big hole between those two where very little goes on. We forget the people who are in need. What Thanks, is it? Miss. Thanks, Thanks miss. miss. Thank you. My brain is not working yet today. Thanks, Miss. And it's a brilliant idea. What does he do? Joe, he, he cooks for the Salvation Armies and for other homeless people. And then he's goes to serve it about three or four days and we go along with him we help him cook it and then we go serve and you uh, actually help him uh, in the kitchen yeah we'll do that uh, like the thing has happened so monday tuesday wednesday on sunday we'll go into the trap kitchen and uh throw you know make the meatballs and cook them and make all the spaghetti and the sauce and we get ready to go well this year, I understand I am going to be there. Yes, I've already... that's a good thing. We're waiting for you. We'll have a good time. We certainly will. It'll be fun. Because, you know, last year, see how big I make them this year, the big balls. Because last year, I made them too big. And I got, no, oh, those are too big, Socio. They don't taste good if you make them too big. Now, we have one more bit of business to take care of here. This guy belongs on a national network. 
So if anyone with ESPN Sports would like to have someone who's able to speak English and Spanish, either way, this guy will go both ways. This is a world-class talent, and you need to have him on the air with you. You agree? Yeah, I agree with you, John. Thank you. Don't mention it. <laughs> we will put this online, Thank and we'll you. make sure that someone at ESPN sees it. Thank you very much, Senor John. Okay, good. Great Enrique. To see you. Thanks for letting me know that this was going on, actually. Yeah, well, so, oh, I know. I called you this morning to yeah. tell you. And you're much prettier than you. Our wife was very good to bring you on over Thank here. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Now, did you let him drive over here today? No. You didn't? No. That's her car. My car, my car is uh, kind of uh, not working right now, so she won't let me drive my uh, Now, take and put that name tag right over my cleavage. <laughs> That's asking a lot, dear. How about right in the middle of your forehead? Okay, there we are. Some now, things never change. Now, there was someone over here you wanted me to talk to? Oh my goodness, yes. Now, not that, um, note this, not, not that I'm um, getting any uh, more mature, but there's someone here I went to college with in 1972. You're not that old. You got it, baby. I was, but wait, I was an infant. They let me in. You know, okay. I was, a, I was a prodigy. Right. Well, we only have an hour on this thing, so. <laughs> I did it. This yes. Out. <laughs> so we're gonna go over here and we're gonna start you talking to him real quick. Bob, let's okay. go over here. Right. Bill Conley. Hello. Don't go away. This okay. microphone is next coming yeah. to you. Okay. Pull up a chair, sit on the floor, make us. I remember home. when she was naked in college. <laughs> <laughs> you remember when she was naked in college? Running yes, across we were, campus, but you, you know, were streaking ahead of me. Yeah, but and it's still, it's still not too late to bust up your marriage so that you can get something back going here. She's again. Sicilian. I'd be in big trouble. <laughs> oh! No, okay. no, no, no. And that's, a, that's not a cut. That's a throat slash. So don't worry about it. <laughs> All right. Now, you wanted, there was a reason you wanted to talk to her aside from that, right? I can't quite remember. It. <laughs> that's Sandy. She doesn't remember these things. Not it's not her fault. No. He was streaking across campus, and I was following him. So don't give me that. You know? She she gave me one of my first voiceover paid gigs right here. Seriously? Yeah, Moss Brothers. I did. Of course. Oh, of course. Of course. And he was great, and I'm very happy. That I was lousy. I had to do 50 takes, I think. Oh my God, <laughs> it was terrible. So who were you with? What? Were, which station? <laughs> you weren't with any. I, I gave all that up so long ago. I don't you actually. Mine forgot. was a hand crank. I cranked it up yeah, by yeah. hand. Yes. <laughs> now let's see. In town here. Yeah. Uh, oh, I did a little short stints at QIK. Yeah. Uh, 101. Uh huh. Uh, then I did a very long stint at uh, at Warren when it was 107. Right. And then there was uh, PDS before it became you know 93.3. Right. So we did that. That's enough. Oh, you don't want to hear about DAE? Well, go ahead. <laughs> We could always talk about the Buccaneer Radio Network. Okay. Yeah. Or, and then going way back to the very top of the FM dial. Right. WWBA. Oh. Yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Right. And I know all the bad secrets, which I we see. can't reveal, you know. <laughs> We're not going to do them, no. Yeah, because, you know. Ted Webb will be terribly disappointed because he uh, will well, certainly put them in about Teddy. Oh, oh, yeah, we all do. Yeah, yeah. but yeah. I can't tell you. His LCY well, days, you know. Yes. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know how we survived. Say, so Teddy had the fro back then. <laughs> yes, he did. And the, and the purple MGB. <laughs> right. And he was getting in some wild times. Chuga baby. Chuga right. Baby. Ted Webb on the air. His real name is uh, Henry Ruiz, if the police are still looking for him. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to be rude. I apologize. I'll give him back to you in just a second. You can stand here. No, 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 no. We need get over here. Part of my history here. Yeah, we need we need to we need to have the eye candy in the shot. Oh, thank you. I'm eye candy. Yes, you You're are. Sorely in trouble. No, 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 no. For real. What's your name? Darcel. What do you do? I worked at Q105 for seven years. I was a promotion director at Power 93 for a couple of years at the inception. And in you're FSN now, Florida? No, right now I am working in Marshall Advertising oh. here in Tampa. You like it? I like it, but I miss radio, but hey, things change. Once in the broadcasting business, always in the broadcasting it's in business. And it, yeah, it, it's there for sure. I feel sorry for you. I really, really, <laughs> I really do. I got bit by the bug. Yeah. Just no, like I, all of us. I apologize sincerely. You're beautiful. He's ugly, but I need to talk to yeah, him real quick. Yeah, he's the guy that worked at Q105 that did all the magic. Yeah, he did. With Mason and the yeah. morning show. Pull in. Oh, yeah. How you doing, Bill? Doing wonderful. Got a good crowd here today. Yeah. Bill, Bill Connolly is his name, as you can see by his name tag down here. Hi, everybody. And yes, he was with Q105. 
Mason Dixon. I was just at Q105 yesterday. We drew caricatures for Employee Appreciation Day. It was great. A lot of the new, new folks were in, and uh, we had a good time. A lot of good faces out there. Yeah. What are you doing now? Uh, freelance cartooning and uh, do a little bit of uh, still some radio like production. I just uh, sold something this week to All Star Radio in St. Louis, Missouri. It's a parody song, uh, 12 Days of Facebook, right. for Christmas time. Are we, uh, are we allowed to tell anything about the secret of where you work? I can't. No, I can't. You uh, can't I work at home. But that's, okay. That's like, and but we can't talk about the secret secret. This guy, I'll just say this there isn't an eyeball in America, perhaps even in the world, that has not seen this guy's wor work. And, but he does it in a place where we can't tell you where in he does garage, it. In my garage, down near the back of the dryer. <laughs> okay. And then what do you do? Uh, you scan it and then send it? I, uh, just, uh, I do pencil sketches of what I do. And then uh, I can tell you one thing, uh, one project I work on for Odyssey Marine. Yeah. They're always in the news. They're finding the, they go down and dive for yeah. shipwrecks. That's probably more interesting. Uh, I, I drew a coloring book for Odyssey that comes out for kids, and it's got their uh, mechanical diver that goes down, Zeus. Yeah. And so we drew all these artifacts, about a 30-page coloring book. That'll be out in just about a month or two. Will you autograph one of those for me? Absolutely. And along with it, one of those artifacts sure. that's picked up off the, and attach that also Absolutely. to the comic book? Very good. Yeah. Something that's worth at least $560,000. That's it. Or 25 cents on eBay. <laughs> Whichever way. Whichever comes first. Yeah. And you, you also are, you're into music, you're into everything. Into music. I started teaching at Connecticut School of Broadcasting. Roger Shulman's over there and uh, Mike Reeves, some people that... Uh, Shana Lance. Uh, Wilson Radio. That's right. Shana Lance uh, King is the director. Right. And so there's about 30 or 40 instructors over there now with various specialties. Dave Collins, who used to work with us, also does video. And, uh, and news writing and, and all kinds. Of, so I work on uh, kind of crazy production elements and right. teach the kids how to do production, but we work, we'll do like a crazy comedy bit instead of a commercial. Now, does your, your gig that's secret, does it pay good? Oh, sure. Yeah? I'm, 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 I'm drinking in, a Coke, aren't I? In this age of redistribution, don't forget my 87% commission I, that I, I did not earn, I do not deserve. I'll be giving it to you before I leave today. <laughs> it's on camera. Okay. That's good. Bill Conley, good to see you. You too. Take care. Good. Thanks a lot. Okay, there are a couple of other very, very, very important people we need to see. So let's move over here that way. Bill? Yes, sir. I'm not going to talk to you for very long. Good. That'll but, be a first, actually. But you are an important man. Thank you. You're Aren't welcome. We all? Yep. So are you, John. Well, thank you very much. Now that we have said nice things to each other, Bill Swisher is one of the organizers of this thing. You're the one who talked uh, Bob Passwaters into having it here, aren't you? Well, we, it was a mutual agreement. We, okay. we both did, uh, yeah. came up with that. We've come back to where we started That's seven right. years ago. That's what I'm told. I missed the first one, but I've been to two through seven. Right. And uh, each year you've been behind the scenes uh, helping to find out where we're going to meet. I'm pretty much the restaurant committee. Yeah, I, that's I right. find a place yeah. that will uh, have us and let us eat, eat off the regular menu. Ladies and gentlemen, the most important man here, because if he wasn't agreeable to this, we wouldn't be doing this here. <laughs> Bob Passwaters, how are you? Hey, John, how you doing? Good. Th this is a lot of fun, isn't it? It is a lot. Bob was the news director at 970 WFLA in the early 80s. When did you go there? I was started in uh, 71, about six months after Jack Harris, who, by God, he's still on the radio, isn't he? Yeah, He, he still is, yeah. <laughs> in 71, and uh, was there through like 78 or so, and then went back to school, and then but, came back, actually. And Yeah, I know, because I was there in like 81, 82, yeah, thereabouts, yeah, 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 and uh, yeah. we worked together for a little bit of time. Yep, yep. You always do it, so I'll just give you the lead. What was my first day, our first day together on the air? Well, you know what, John, you, you were probably the new superstar in that event. It's when the, uh, when the bridge, was Skyway Bridge went down and uh, John called in and said he was, of course, this was before cell phones and everything, and uh, John started doing reports for us on the air and it, it became, I think it got some awards for the coverage. You did? Yeah. I yeah, never yeah. saw them though. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but it was a great job and people still talk about that. I was scheduled to start on the year the following day, and uh, a Saturday, and it happened on a Friday. Yeah, yeah. And 
I called in and said, do you think it'd be good if I started today instead of tomorrow? There was a, a we had a budget meeting and then we decided, yeah, why don't you start today? <laughs> right. You've had a really great, great, great run. I mean, you were the yeah, FLA. Yeah, FLA, and then I went to Florida Dental Association as a vice president of communications and then went with the Bucks for uh, three or four years and started an ad agency then and uh, handled all the Hooters restaurants. Right. You got hooked up with the original six? Yeah, yeah, exactly. And yeah. how many millions of dollars did you put into it? Yeah, and I, I can't divulge that because of the new uh, regime in Washington. I <laughs> it's amazing all the people, the FLA people that are here, uh, Russ Offenbach, Paul Gonzalez, and uh, yourself, and it's great. Yeah, it's a nice event. Good. And all the Hooters girls showed up too. Yeah, yeah, we got a bunch of Hooters girls, who, uh, except they're kind of getting pushed out the door by Roger Shulman, I think. He, uh... <laughs> Roger Shulman, how are you, Roger? Take a look at this, a face for radio. It's, uh... <laughs> You've been here. There's another one too. Yeah, as a matter of fact, <laughs> yes. Good to see you. It's lovely to be here in Tampa, Florida, in the second Hooters ever to be constructed. Yeah, and you are, you are Mr. Radio here in this town. You've been around forever, right along with uh, Ted Webb. Ted Webb was here longer, and uh, Jack Harris has been here longer. But not by much. Nobody's done news longer in this market. I found out that no one has done news longer than I have, which is shocking. You have been fired a few times, but you always I've find been, your way back to a microphone. I'm fired a lot. I'm a complete rectum. That's why I get <laughs> <laughs> I have yeah. the personality of a dead cigar. <laughs> Forgive me. I, I'm only in the station once every two years, so I would get things messed up. I love computers because I'm able to, every week, I take my index finger, push a button on the computer, and my programs get transmitted to the radio station meaning I don't have to spend any money on that expensive gas. No, in the old days you used to play records and tapes and all that kind of stuff. Yep. Now it's just hit the button. Just don't hit the, you know, the delete button. You're right. okay. Introduce yourself to my two viewers. Say again, I'm sorry? Introduce yourself to my oh, two viewers. Okay, I'm JR and you can hear me on WQYK Saturday 9 to 2. And because of the advent of computers, most people don't have a job, but you still do. <laughs> I'm, anybody who's got a job today is just lucky, I think. <laughs> You're not going to believe it. A guy I worked with at 970 WFLA a very long time ago, Paul Gonzalez, how hey, are you? Hey, John, how are you? Good to see you. It's great to see your smiling face. Yeah. What are you doing now? Nothing. I'm retired. Good for you. No, I work occasionally. Yeah. I fill in occasionally when somebody calls. That's right. Well, anyway, you were uh, doing, You, matter of fact, you were one of the very first talk voices over on the old WFLA, went up to WSB and a bunch of other stuff. Yeah, actually I was a DJ before then. Right, I knew that. Yeah. Played the hits. Played the hits. Yeah. Good. Well, since you're not doing anything anymore, do we have anything to talk about? Well, I'm going to Cancun this week. Are you? Going uh, scuba diving. Uh -huh. And uh, to check up on your offshore bank accounts? On my Cayman Islands bank account. And I live just a short distance from uh, the... Uh, Cardassian girls in Tampa off of Bayshore. Oh. I drive by there once in a while to see if they come out. Uh -huh. and, uh, well, we need to call ahead and let them know that Paul Gonzalez is driving down the street, and then for sure they're going to come out. You know what I, I don't get, John? The guy's the head of the CIA, right? Yeah. And he can't keep a, a secret. He can't keep a clandestine affair. What's up with that? I thought if you're in the CIA, you keep secrets. I'll tell you what happened. <laughs> The word leaked to the White House. The White House used it to blackmail him, and he refused to be blackmailed, and so they pulled the plug on him. There you go. But those two girls that live down the street, of course, I live in the working class section of town where most of the radio people work, but I drive by there to go to the store, and there's more news crews there than I've ever seen in my life. Yeah, and none of it makes any sense. It's a distraction. Bill Burnett and uh, Sharon Taylor worked together for a very long time. CBS, WFLA, a bunch of other stuff. And very unceremoniously, a couple of years ago, what are you doing now? I'm a school nurse. You're a school nurse? <laughs> Isn't that really? funny? Isn't that funny? Yes, it is. But yeah. you like it? I do. I Enjoying do. it. I love it. I'm a, I'm a nurse in the, I'm an LPN at a little elementary school right in my neighborhood. My commute is um, six-tenths of a mile to work, six-tenths of a mile home. <laughs> 
And you don't have to get up at 3 o'clock in the morning anymore. No, no, it is, it's a lot of fun. Right, but for a whole bunch of years you were with uh, Jack and Ted. Yep. It was Jack, Ted, and Sharon in the morning. And I mean, yeah. it, my day hasn't been the same since you left. And you know who I was thinking about today was um, Lassiter. Mm. Lassiter, Bob Lassiter and I did our last show together right before Thanksgiving back at 620 WSUN. And nobody ever found out what happened to my 24-pound turkey that was defrosting in the bathtub. <laughs> what happened? Oh, there's bad pictures of the the bird. Of the bird. <laughs> <laughs> and it wasn't on the table. It was... <laughs> Never mind. Okay, that is, that's enough. Bye. That, that is funny. Anyway, a reunion for you with a whole bunch of people here, so I won't get in the way of that. Uh, it's always good to see you. Thanks. You too, and John. When you were in the newsroom, and I was in the newsroom at FLA, I don't know if you should tell this story. You probably don't remember it. It'll embarrass you, and I apologize sincerely in advance. But when you were when you were uh, hunched over your typewriter, yes, typing, 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 yeah, yeah, you would yeah. get you would get really tight shoulders. Oh yeah. And I'd be whining on my own. Yes, ear. and she would say, "Magic fingers, I need some help." <laughs> Oh, thank you for bringing that up there, John. <laughs> I don't know what he's talking about. Dude. All right, good to see you. Good to see you. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Ted Webb. His uh, real name is uh, Henry Weiss. 970 WFLA. Is it old? Oh, never mind, never mind, never mind. Come on back in. No. You miss this woman. I miss the hell out of her. I bet. I really do. She and I, she and I woke up together for ten years every yep, day. We uh -huh. sure did. And either she or you were on the wrong side of the bed. <laughs> no, neither one of us you were on the wrong side of the bed. <laughs> we both slept on the same side of the bed as a matter. <laughs> that is funny. Hi, man. Good to see you, Teddy. Great seeing you, John. And good to every once a year we all get together and tell all kinds of uh, fun stories, lies, you name it. It comes out. Oh yeah. Yeah. The fish get bigger every year, too, yeah, they don't do. they? Yeah. How are you feeling? <laughs> I'm doing great. God's been good to me. Excellent. You've been around this town for a long time. You started where? FSO? No. Uh, I started at Walt back in 1963. Wow. So it's been uh, 40, uh, 49 years now. You're just a child then. I was just a baby. Yeah. I was 14 years old. Right. Well, you beat me by two years. I started at 16. You did, huh? I did, yeah. You rookie. Yep. <laughs> yes. You bet. Absolutely. I met, met you at WLCY. I met her yeah. back at WLCY. She was doing news news for me at night. I was on from 6 to midnight, and she was wrapping up her shift as I was starting mine. Uh -huh. Then Roger Shulman would come on. <laughs> We've all been around this town for such a long, long oh, time. Oh, I know. I know. Now, there are all kinds of stories that she would not want you to tell, but go ahead and tell them anyway. You can't. You won't put them on the internet? Statue of limitation hasn't expired yet. <laughs> Give her another job. Get her I, back in over I'd there. I'd love to. Yeah. I would love to. Are you uh, kidding me? Yeah, <laughs> I'm sure. Let's make it go away before you get everybody else fired at the same time, too. Because we can manage to forget. Ladies and gentlemen, Sharon Taylor. Always, always in our hearts. A, a memory uh, here on Tampa Bay. And you need to go get yourself another gig. Um, maybe. You never know. Never say never. Never say never. Yeah. I'm going to make this go away now. Does that make you happy? Yeah. Okay. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Tall, medium, short. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm sitting with all the short people. Holding my uh, long and my short microphone. The only microphone I'm uh, actually recording with is a short microphone, which goes along with my height. With that, I have done my duty for God and for country. Having finished this Remember, uh, visit, computers, tools of the devil, with Roger Evil. Shulman. Can I go back to my cracker now? He's the anchor man and the anchor for this story. Sinking rapidly into the depths. <laughs> I'm going down now. And I'm John Sipus, and behind the camera, Ryan Johnson, whose father, his, his father Dan Johnson, Gave, paid out a lot of money in paychecks. Well, not a lot of money, just paychecks with not very much money at all. I'm, I'm done. I'm done. <laughs>